This applesauce bread recipe is so moist and tasty and delicious, but it's actually good for your body and it's such a great way to start your day with a healthy breakfast. Okay, first step, you're going to turn on your oven to 350 degrees, then you are going to take out your all-purpose baking flour. If you're gluten-free like me, please use that. Otherwise, regular flour works wonderfully with this and you are going to use two cups, pour that into your mixing bowl. For more healthy, easy recipes, please subscribe. I'd love to stay connected with you. Next step, you're gonna take out your rolled oats. You know, they are basically the most nutrient dense grain on earth rolled oats. They are good for weight loss and just full of healthy stuff you're gonna love. And then baking powder, We, you know, this is a moist, dense bread but we need to give it a little bit of floof. So we are going to use two teaspoons of baking powder and then also baking soda. Again, sticking with the floof motif, <laughs> we're gonna use just a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And next, pumpkin pie spice. Now this is controversial. Some people like cinnamon with their, with their applesauce bread, but personally, given the preference, I say choose pumpkin pie spice, add some complexity to it, but you know what? If you choose cinnamon, I'll still be your friend and you're gonna use two teaspoons of that. Now the star of the show, the applesauce. Apples are so good for you. They are so nutrient dense. They're also good for digestion. This whole, this whole applesauce bread is just so healthy and good for you. And we're gonna use a cup and three quarters of applesauce. And next, maple syrup. You know, of all the sweeteners, this one has, maple syrup has antioxidants and minerals, and it's, let's just face it, maple syrup rocks. And we're gonna use four tablespoons or a quarter of a cup, whichever you prefer. And now vanilla extract, you're gonna use a teaspoon of that just to give our little applesauce bread recipe some warmth. And now almond milk, you could use any plant milk. Almond milk definitely works wonderfully. And this is to substitute instead of using oil in our bread. I should point out this recipe is oil-free, it is gluten-free, it is vegan, it is dairy-free, it is egg-free, and it is delicious. And we're gonna mix all that and then you're gonna have it become like pancake batter. And if like me, you hate cleaning pans, you're gonna take out some parchment paper, but don't just put it in the pan. In order to make it fit better, I like to wash my hands and then take the parchment paper and take out all of my frustrations about baking, about life, about everything, and crumple up the parchment paper. And I have to tell you, I feel better. Poor parchment paper gets the brunt of my frustrations. Okay, then you're gonna take your applesauce bread batter, you're going to pour it into your poor little parchment paper. For more healthy, easy recipes, please subscribe. I would love to stay connected with you. You can play with it a little bit. And then the best part, topping. So let me tell you, walnuts on top of this applesauce bread rock, but you could also use pecans. You could also use real apple slices. You could use, well, not real. I mean, you know, <laughs> apple slices, banana slices. And then by now your oven should be preheated. You're going to put your applesauce bread recipe in, and then you want to check it maybe after 45 minutes. Mine took about 55 minutes. And now check that out. Your home is gonna smell so amazing. The apples, the pumpkins, pie spice, so good, but don't eat it yet. First, we need to check with a toothpick to make sure that it's fully baked. And what do you think? What do you, what do you give my uh, toothpick test? I have to tell you, I think I got an egg. <laughs> and then after you, after you let it sit, it needs to cool all the way in the pan. Then you're gonna wanna put it onto a cooling rack. And again, keep letting it cool until it's room temperature. And now the moment you've been waiting for, I know you wanna see what it's like to cut into it. Let me tell you, this is a moist, thick, tasty, dense bread. This is like such a good, breakfast or healthy snack. It's so filling. It's so tasty. You're going to love it so much. Check that out. And for more healthy, easy, skinny recipes, please subscribe. I would love to stay connected with you. And for more healthy, skinny bread recipes, check out this video.